Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to get you some messages, see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides want to tell you. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right, Sag, here we go. Get your cards. Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords, the World, the Hermit, Queen of Swords. All right, Sag. Um, it looks like there's something coming in pretty quickly. I, it feels like this new cycle wants to begin. It really does. It feels like a, a, a cycle is ending for you. There's like a, a new phase to your life here. But something's coming in that's that's making you a little anxious, a little nervous, uh, causing you some anxiety. Maybe it's an issue you have to deal with or a decision you have to make, but it's it's causing you a little bit of stress. I just want you to know it's not going to last forever. It is temporary. We have a new cycle beginning with the world, but this stress might be pull, causing you to um, you know go into hermit mode a little bit, pulling your energy back from people. Because you got something to figure out. You, you got to, you, you either have to make a decision or you have to figure out how to work something out, figure out what to do. I, again, like I said, it's only temporary. Here's the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords tells me that you're going to get the, all the clarity you need. You're going to have your answers. It's going to come to you. You're going to know what to do. The Queen of uh, Swords, she's like, you know, she's the badass. She's going to cut through any of the BS. Her decisions are going to be based on logic. She brings, you know, uh, self-awareness and clarity and truth to any situation she's in. So, uh, you know, trust yourself and trust the answers you get because uh, she's smart. She's smart. She might be a little intimidating at times, but this is the, the, the Queen of Swords is always somebody you want as a friend. You know, you definitely want her on your side. <laughs> so I just feel like you're stepping into that energy. So things are going to work out and you'll, you'll have your answers. You'll know what to do. Okay, you have the Tankard, which is celebration, fun, and enjoyment. And then you have the crown, which is honor and respect. So the, cr the tanker just tells me that, you, you know, you might be pulling your energy back right now, but eventually you're going to have something to celebrate. So it's going to go your way. Everything's going to work out for you. And honor and respect are going to come to you because you're making a good decision or you're, you're being, um, you know, a good person. So people are going to admire how you handle things or how you handle a situation or maybe how you just handle your life. People are going to honor you and respect you and, and notice. And, you know, just uh, give you that, that pat on the back. Or at least that respect. You know, they're going to admire you. Watch your thoughts, though. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So, you know, I know you're in some, you're going to have something that's causing you some anxiety. So don't go worst case scenario. All right. Don't, don't think about, well, if this happens, like just think positive, think it's all, think it's all going to work out for you. And if it doesn't, that's okay. You'll, you'll know what to do. You, you're going to come into the answers here. So you're going to be okay, but just watch your thoughts. Don't get too negative with them. Okay. Your thoughts are more powerful than you know. You know, I preach this lesson over and over again. You'd think I would know it by now and follow it in my own life and take my own advice. But, uh, yeah. I went to a bad place this morning in my own thoughts. So I, I get that card. So that card's probably just as much for me as it is for you. Here we go polar bear stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectively and compassionately with no attached to outcomes attachment so 
this is be you speak your truth know what know what's good for you know what's best for you and don't try to control a situation all right you can't control the outcome of whatever is making you anxious because if you could you wouldn't be anxious over it right so let's allow things to happen you're going to get your answers you'll know how to deal with it and you're going to be okay just make the best decision for you at the time Brand spanking new. Well, that sounds like an amazing card. Let's see. Number nine. You know how it feels after a fresh rain. Everything is pure, clean, washed to its precious, beautiful core. You just want to stick your nose in the air and take a big whiff. That's your life right now. There is not one blemish, not one flaw. It's a perfect 10. All right, well, we know that there's a flaw because we have some anxiety here. But if you think that there's not a flaw, that if you think everything's going to work out for you, then you, you can have, a, you know, this brand new beginning here with this new, with the world, right? This brand new spanking beginning. Um, just all clean and fresh and positive. Now that's coming. You just got to trust that it is. It's coming. Oh, oh, some um, romantic time coming in. Divine sensuality. I don't know, Sag. Looks like um, <laughs> you might have a beautiful moment here coming in for you <laughs> or more than one. I can't hate on that one. All right, here we go. Keep calm and breathe. <laughs> Raise the vibe one breath at a time. <laughs> it just makes me think of breathing. Um, keep calm. Don't worry about this. I, I feel some anxiety over this. Maybe that's where the anxiety is. Maybe this is love at first sight and all this anxiety is coming in because we have to now become intimate and it might scare us. Ah, if that's your scenario, don't try to control it. Just go with the flow. It'll work out for you. And just breathe. <laughs> just breathe remember to breathe I don't always remember to breathe <laughs> remember to breathe <laughs> that's funny uh, so yes yeah, some of you have a, a beautiful time in store for you and others you're going to have a beautiful time too it just might not be that but we shall see shall, shall we alright here we go we have the palm tree stability security performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So some stability is coming in. Something that's going to make you feel better. Some security. Permanence. I like that. Permanence. Energy. I mean, I don't really feel like a whole lot of stuff is permanent in this world. I think energy always flows and nothing lasts forever. But uh, permanence for now is is nice, right? That's, that's stability and Keep enduring because it's going to work out for you. All right. Let's get you a Dreams of Gaia card. Let's see. Love. Oh, my, Sag. Oh, my. <laughs> what is that? Oh, here it is. Love, infatuation, love for self, confidence, love for life, expansion. 
All right. So, um, love is a comic cosmic force that will shape us or break us depending on how we choose to experience it. And just as we have a choice in what we experience, we have a choice in how we perceive and experience love. So, uh, if this is like, this could be talking about your past, maybe even, you know, it could be addressing a past love that still has influence upon your present, or past love is about to re-enter your life. You know, you're going to have to explore those feelings if you have them. Or, it speaks to the importance of self-love that plays in your you know, day-to-day life, you, you need to, you know, it's about how you feel about yourself and how that will shape your relationships with yourself and with others. So I think you're being asked to make time to love yourself and be kind to yourself and to be good to yourself. It could also be, you know, new love coming in. A growing love or infatuation that's to come. So, there is a possibility for new love definitely coming in. So, if you are single, just keep that in mind. But I love that. I love that you got the love card and it makes sense with that divine sensuality card, doesn't it? You're going to be feeling attractive honor and respect will come to you look at that you're going to have a reason to celebrate you got some clarity coming in so you're going to understand just remember to breathe when you get all anxious and nervous you're going to be fine but life is going to feel brand new to you oh, good stuff Sag good stuff let's pull you some charms Make a wish. Make a wish. Some of you could be moving or buying a home, right? Or moving in with somebody. There is love here. Lots of love. And it could put you at a crossroads, but you're going to be fine. Let the magic happen. Let it happen. Don't try to control it. And it doesn't matter if you could see where this is going or not. It doesn't matter. Again, that's about control. Like We're not going to control the outcome. We're just going to go with the flow on this one. You have more love here. Look at this. And a wish coming true. So you got the tiger. So what I want you to do is be still and listen to yourself. Okay? Be still and listen. You'll know what you want. You'll understand what to do. But live up to your greatest potential, no matter what, right? Don't miss out on something because you're nervous or scared. Live up to your potential, Sagittarius. All right, that's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.